The Barak was a Musa Yeshiva. It was Musa. So it was a famous story. Rab Chaim Shmulevitz, Zechat Tzadik Mavrocha, was Mir Rosh Yeshiva. His grandfather was, was with Yosef Horowitz. His mother was a daughter of the Alter of Navardik. So his father, Rab Chaim Shmulevitz, was, 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 was a, a, a gone. He was a genius. What he knew was from, his father was, was a lot bigger than he was. And his father was a Rosh Yeshiva in Navardik. And his father taught the top shear. And in the Navardik, they had a Musa Seder. And his father, very often, when he gave the shear, he went over time. And it was at the cost of the Musa Seder. This was his own son-in-law. You know what he did? He dismissed him. He dismissed him from his position. You will not be a Rosh Yeshiva in this Yeshiva. You will go find a job elsewhere. Uh, this is how he was committed to Musa, the altar of Navarik. Okay. What? Yeah. You see, what I mentioned, Horowitz. Uh, what? I got it. Okay. Okay, we'll talk about the matzah later. Okay, Horowitz, my granny. Okay. Okay, we're holding the Mishnah on Samach Dalaram and Aleph. Kidashti is biti. A man says, Kidashti is biti. Kidashtia vigirashtia. I married her and I received her divorce. Kishiktano, when she was a minor. So father is qualified to marry off when she's a Kitano and to receive her again when she's a Kitano. Kitano doesn't mean to exclude Naira. It means to exclude Bulgaris. Bari Kitano. And when he makes this statement, she's still a minor, and then he's believed. What about he said it when she's, he says when she was a minor, but today she's an adult. Adult means the Bulgaris, and on Nemon. He's not believed. Why? Because today he's not in a position not to marry her, and not to what? And not to receive a get. So what's going to be? So she's going to be, she's, she's, she's valid, she's qualified to marry a Kohen. So the, if she, when she's a Kitano, she's a Grusha, so she's not, she, she's not permitted to marry a Kohen. But if he says it when she's a Gedola, she's, she's, she's permitted to marry a Kohen, because he's not believed. Because he's not in a position to marry her off, or to receive a get. What about when she's a Kitano, he says, Nish Bisupadisio. Rabbinically, a woman's taken captive by Goyim, she has, takes on the status of a Zona. A defiled woman, she's not permitted to a Kohen. So he says, she was taken captive, Upadisio, and I ransomed her. Bank she katana bank she gadola in the Whether he makes this statement when she's a katana or gadola, you should say the other bank she gadola bank she katana. Whether she's an adult or even a minor, right? It's just going in the same direction. Bank she gadola bank she katana bank she gadola in the mon. No, if he's in ransom, we're not, there's no discussion marrying her to a coin, right? She's a free woman today. She's not not a captive. He's only saying, I need to see only to say yeah. that she, the reason why I she's here today is because I, was, I redeemed her. You know, a woman a woman's who's incarcerated somewhere, uh, could she marry Cohen? It's irrelevant. You know what I mean? She's not available to anybody. She's with the Goyim, she's with the Goyim. So, the Pedisi is only, only a circumstance. Now, why is it a question, this woman who was captive, is she permitted to marry a Cohen? Yeah. That's the question. So without Pedisir, there's no discussion. Okay? So in the ratio it says he's believed. Kiddashtir v'girashtir is believed. Nishmis v'tisir, he's not believed. Maishno reisha, maishno seifo. Why in regard to marriage and divorce, he's believed to disqualify her to a Kohen, but to say nishmis v'tisir is not believed. What's the difference? Really, the question is, I mean, to say she's married, that we had is beaten inside with Shazer. But what about, it doesn't, what is, where do we see in the puzzle that it says he's believed, even though he's qualified to receive the get, who said she's, she's, she's a Grusha? Maybe she's an Almona, right? Maybe she's an Almona. And maybe, who said he's believed, say she's an Almona, right? Today, he has no control over that. And the Gemara will say he has no control over that. Maishna, Reisha, Maishna, Seifa, Reisha, Biyodeh. He's beyond 
it's within his ability. So the Gemara says the Yodi now means that since, if in fact the husband would give the get, he's qualified to receive the get, therefore he's believed to say that he received the get. Right? I mean, it's a tzarachim. What? Why? Why? Kedushim. Kedushim. Why? Why? A woman's a, uh, the only Kedushim. A woman, wait, wait a second. A woman, man gives a woman a ring, Harik Vadesh is late. An hour late, he divorces her. Is she a Grusha? The old Kedushim never went to Chuppah. It was never in the sewer. He gave her a get. Of course, the divorce. She's married, now she's divorced. Was now, she's a Grusha. Grusha's not permitted to a Kohen. Correct? So you have a minor. Kidashtia Vigirashtia. No, if she was fully married, correct. Once she's out of his domain. Yeah, it says it says it says kidoik. It says kidashtio. Vigirashtio. Right, right, correct. She was still in his domain. She was still in his domain. Correct, correct. What you're saying is right. Correct. But the Mar says Maishna Resh Mashna Sefa. So Mar says, Resha Biyode. The Resha, the case about receiving the get, he has relevance to that status. To receive the get, you know, it's interesting. The Mar says in Ksubis, a woman says to the husband, she says to her husband, you divorced me. So the Mar says she's believed. Why she believed? Because Ain Isha me is a pun of if they buy A woman wouldn't have the insolence, the arrogance to say to husband she's divorced, but she's not divorced. So she's believed to say that you divorced me. Right? Well, who is the father? The father seemingly is no better than what? Is no better than the, uh, than the daughter. The, the father is the equivalent of the daughter. If the daughter would say, I'm a Goresh, is she believed? If we know she was married, now she says, I'm a Goresh, she's not believed. So why over here when the father is, the father is no better than the daughter? Because it's Biyade. Biyade is not a reason to, to, to say, you, to believe you're divorced. A woman, if the, if the, if the husband would want to divorce her, right? She's qualified to receive the get, correct? Yet if she says she's divorced, she's not believed she says she's divorced. Correct? It's a Dovisha What? <coughs> that's, what, that's why she's not believed. It's only because a Nisha may use upon if they by law, a woman doesn't have the arrogance, the brazen the salesman in his face, I'm divorced, but it's not upon of. If it's not in his presence, a woman would say it. So I'm saying, so the father saying she's divorced. Are we talking about, is this a Pesha or a Pesha Yitir over here? Is this a Pesha or a Pesha Yitir? And it's another discussion. Did he say a talk they did or did he not say this? Did he say, right. she's married and she's divorced? Right. Why, would, why would he be any less? The, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Rajba, the, Raj, the, the Rana over here cites, brings a Rajba. The, the Rajba says, he said it, it's not, she was divorced, she was married. Now the husband says she was divorced. The father says she was divorced. He says she was married and she was divorced. Right? Right after, as he tells us one, immediately he negates it by making the second statement. Wait, so if that's the case, if, if the principle Pesha Asa means that, that if you believe me on one, believe me on the other, right? So what about, if he wouldn't have said Nishbis, if he wouldn't have told that she was taken captive, w right? She'd be permitted. We wouldn't have known. She had a Cheskis Kashus. She had a cheskas kashas. So if say said the same thing, Pesha as a Pesha either. As you believe me, she was nishas, believe me, she was what? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. We don't believe her because that's connected to cheskas. No, no, no. The father himself, first, what do you believe the father that she was nishas? You believe in the father she was nishas. You shouldn't even believe she was nishas. What do you believe the father she was nishas? She was taken captive. That's, that's a separate question. Right? It says, the, right? She's not believed. Well, not believed well. At all. Well, she was even Nishma. She, she has a Cheskis Heter. She has a Cheskis Heter. She was born, she was permitted to go, and she's still permitted to go. In. Right? I, I mean, I don't even need a Pesha or Pesha Heter there. Ain't no Nemon, period. He's not believed. Right? A woman, if a woman has a Cheskis Heter, somebody says she's not permitted. Well. I mean, the next mission discusses a case. A woman, a man marries a woman, and um, 
We don't know whether he has children from another marriage. We don't know whether he has brothers. And then he says, I have brothers. He gets married, we don't know about brothers. All of a sudden, he tells his wife, after he's married, I have brothers. And then he dies. And somebody shows up and he says, I'm the brother. Right? Do we permit it? Or he says, I have, no ch I, I have children. I have children, and we don't know about children. But he said he has children. And now he dies. We don't know about the children. Is she Yavama or is she not a Yavama? Right? So w when he married her, when she was married to him, she definitely was not permitted to. to if he would have divorced her then, she wouldn't have been permitted to his brothers. Right? She's an Eshesach. Right? When he married her, what is her status? Besides Eshesach, she's Eshesach. Eshesach is not permitted to her brother. So what is her chazoka? A chazoka, her, her status is off limits to the brother. Right? So now all of a sudden he dies, but he already made a statement, a statement he has he has children. We're gonna let her we're gonna let her we're gonna allow her to remarry. No proof that he has children. But he only said when he That's married insane. she was worried. She was worried when he married, he says, You know something? I marry you, you have no kids. What happens if you're older? What happens if we don't have any children? I'm gonna fall to you, I don't want to get her. He says, Don't worry, I have children. Now he dies, we, we don't even know where these kids, ex whether they exist, it's based on his say-so. So the halach is, does she fall to Yibum or not? And there's, there's a surviving brother. There's a surviving brother, does she fall to Yibum? So she won't fall to Yibum. You, why do you believe the, 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 the husband? Because when he was married, he made the statement when he originally married her. It's not a conditional marriage. I have children. At that time when he married her, what, she, what did she become? She became an Eshazach. Eshazach is not permitted to a brother. No, 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 no. If he didn't say any, no. If he didn't say anything, and there's no reason to be, believe he has brothers, he died childless. She forced the evil. But he made this statement when he married originally. You have nothing to worry about because I have brothers. I have children. I have children. So you believe the husband? No, then we'll see the next mission. But again, but it's all based on chazoka. Because what is here? A woman when she's born, she's permitted to a kohen. She has to be defiled not to be with God. He said he introduces information. Nishbis. You're not believed. How, you're not believed to alter or to change her chazoka. She has a cheskis head to Lukoi, and all of a sudden now you tell me she, she's a zona because she was nishbis. We don't believe you. No, nothing to pesha. Also. No, but originally, ki dashtiyo vigerashtiyo. Right? Ki dash wisely believe secrets. So if it's token edibur, it's pesha also pesha either. If you believe me, I married her, believe me that I, that I divorced her. A woman comes and says, Nesuani ugrushani. Right? Even Shlobifnei Balo. Not in the presence of husband. She's believed. That's Pesha Sepeshiter. Right? No, but you don't need what he, But what is, what is the principle of Pesha Osar? Because again, if you believe me on A, believe me on B. You don't believe me. Don't believe me on B. Right? If you believe me, you believe me. You don't believe me, don't believe me. Wait one second. So here when the husband, when the father says, Ki dashti vi girashtiyo. So why, why is she, why do you see her as a, as a, as a, as a Mkodeshis? Because you believe me that I married her. So if you believe me, I married her, believe me that she was divorced. So what, but, but over here it seems to be, it's because it's biyado. It's biyado kid gershin. What do you need biyado gershin? Say it's a regular pesha, also pesha well, No, with the, with the minor. When he says, Kidashtiyo vi Girashtiyo, because the Gemara is going to ask, the Gemara says, Why is he believing Girashtiyo? Because it's Biyado. Because it's Biyado. What do we need Biyado? So, he's the, it's Peshosa Peshitir. Right? What do we need it for? Okay, we'll see. I know. Because he could receive the get. Right? Right? Kedushin's partially is believed. Right. That the Torah says, is, but we don't, what do we, what, what do we need biyado on the, on the, the Gemara is going to discuss, on the get, on the get, on the get. We need biyado because he's qualified to receive the get. You don't need it. Let's say a, a man would come and says, she's, she's married and she's divorced. Is that, is that a pesha or pesha eater? It's not pesha or pesha eater. Right? If a no, if a third party would say, a woman's married, she was married and she was divorced. What does it mean? It means nothing. We just totally ignore him, no, because it has, it has no value. 
The reason why we need the Peshos, Peshitir, let's say a woman says, normally a woman says, I'm married. What, what is her status? Shavna Shechetichit Yisura. No, Shavna Shechetichit Yisura. Woman says she's married. She has no witnesses. What's, that? What's her status? She's off limits to everybody. Right? Why? Shavna Shechetichit Because she established herself as a married woman. Let's say she says simultaneously, immediately afterwards, but I was divorced. You believe her she was divorced? Because if you believe me on A, but you believe, so you believe me on A, believe me on B. You don't believe me on B, don't believe me on A. That's Pesha also Pesha Yitir. But it's only because she herself, when she said she was married, it has value. Because there's a principle of Shav Nashrich Surah. Therefore, I need the Pesha, the pesha Yitir to undo what she said. But if a third party would come where he has no bearing on somebody else's life, he's an Eid Echot. She was married. We don't even hear the words. The words have no value whatsoever at any level. It's, it's meaningless what you said. It's not only Pesha Osar, but there was never Pesha Osar. Right? You only need heat here because there was the Osar. Right? But if there's no Osar, you don't need heat here. Right? It's, it's understood. Alec, you understand? Because he's qualified to receive the get. He's qualified to receive the get. Let's say. Exactly. That, that's the point I want to. Right. If you believe it on the first and you believe like a witness, so it's like two witnesses testify she's married, and then one of the two witnesses says she was divorced. You're only one witness. So the father, so you have to come on to a principle, a concept beyond a, that he's qualified to receive the get. Like she's qualified, otherwise you're a third party. Okay, let's, let's get to the Gemara. So we say, Reish should be other say for love with Meaning he's not in a position to, crea- to make her into a halola. Right? She becomes a halola. If it's nishbis, right? She's a zona. She's defiled. She's not permitted to a kohen. So it says, If he wants to today marry her to a cholo, to a cholo, he can, correct? Cholo was the child of a, of a, of a kohen who was married to a grusha. If he'd want to marry her to such a person. It's a permitted marriage. And if he would, what would happen to her? She becomes defiled. That's the, what the Bible understands now. She'll become, as the cholol is mechulol, his wife assumes the same status as himself. Right? That's what the Bible understands now. They, 100% permitted marriage. Right? But wh- let's say afterwards, let's say she would become widowed. She can't marry a coin. If she becomes a cholol, because she was married to a cholol. So the widow can marry a coin? Yeah, only a coin godel, not a coin godel. Right? Okay. Haribiyod l'asiv l'cholo, the kapas l'mikuna. No, he became a cholo. If, if a woman marries a, a mamzer, right? What, what's her status afterwards? No, 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 no. She becomes a zona. She becomes a zona. Right? She, she takes on a defiled status. So over here, because he's a cholo, she'll become a cholo. She had relations. She assumes that similar status. The mamzi came because that's illegitimate. It's because, it's because, well, the Gemara is going to say it in a moment. So it's biyado. We'll, we'll see in a moment. Yeah, because there's a provision. Right, we'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment. The Gemara is going to differentiate. So if the father can marry it to a cholo, it's biyado. If the whole concept was saying, well, we believe a person because he could bring about that result, so you can bring back such a result. If he marries her to a, ch- to a cholo, she becomes a chalola. So similarly here, she should believe to say nishbiz, because that state, he can bring that status upon her, of chalola. Meaning, which is not permitted to a kohen. Lo kasha, kreb ben Yehuda. Do'oma ben Yisrael, mikveh taira l'chaloli. Meaning, he says, reb destoi ben Yehuda says that a woman, a kosher woman, a woman's not a chalola. When she marries a chalola, it's a mikvah taira l'chalola. The child they're going to have will be a valid, let's see, they have a daughter, right? A chalola is not permitted to marry a kohen. The daughter of a chalola who marries an ordinary woman, not a bas chalola, right? Not the daughter of a chalola, but the daughter of a kohen, of a chalola who marries an ordinary woman, what's the status of her child? Permitted to a kohen. That's, that's his position. The mikvah Yisrael said, therefore, even if you can marry off to a Kohen, to, excuse me, to a Cholol, it doesn't in any way defile her. 
That's posher. That's understood. Wait. So the Gemara, so let's take a look at Rashi. Rashi says, what, what, what's the principle? Kareb destoy ben Yehudo. Sveli tanda didan de om le kamon, benos yisho mikve tayr le chalolim, bas cholol zochor. Ksheiro le kuna. The daughter of a cholol, a man who's the son of, let's say, a ben Garusha, marries an ordinary woman. His daughter is permitted to a kohen. She ishto tira ezaro, the wife purified the seed, became the bito ksheiro, amnosek ksheiro. So if the daughter is not a chalolah, so evidently the mother was, was unaffected. Of course, the mother was affected, so that means it's a bas chalolah, correct? The chol shenato nosei bito ato nosei amnoso. If you're permitted to marry the daughter, the coin, so if you're permitted to marry the almono, hilkoch, ein biyod lifso bito ktano min akuna. Therefore, by marrying off the cholol, that will not in any way defile her. So therefore, to say nishbis, he's not believed. Because he can't bring about that result. Vimtoma, when he says, he says, he says, but he could, he could, he could, he could also, he could inval invalidate her, disqualify her to a cholol, unless he marries her off, and he receives, if he says, ki is believed, Correct? So if that she's not permitted to a Kohen, she because she's a Grusha. So why why isn't that why is that this, the equivalent? Nishbis, the result of Nishbis is no worse than than Grusha. That's his question. If he could say I married and I divorced her, which disqualifies her for a Kohen, so w why when he says Nishbis, Nishbis seemingly is the same as Grusha. I mean, Rashi answers something similar, just the fact. A Grusha, if if she's a Bas Kohen, what's the halacha? She's permitted to eat chuma. Although she's not permitted to marry a Kohen, she's permitted to eat chuma. A zona is not permitted to eat chuma. Right? Because she's defiled. So that's Rashi's answer. When he, when he says, she's, not quali she's disqualified for a Kohen, but she's still permitted to eat chuma. But when he says, Nishbis, Sula after not chuma because there she's a zona. Once she's defiled, the defiled woman is not permitted to eat chuma, even though she's a baskoi. So nishbis is saying more than saying grusha. No, so that's his question. If there is Rashi's question, which was no, that's where it's biyado. No, it doesn't have to be the nishbis. If the whole idea is you believe a person is because he can bring about there is like he says he can marry to a cholol, to, right? That's the question. See, see, but nishbis, you can't, you can't uh, make a captive by a goy, right? As long as the effect of that state, he could bring that about, he's believed in that area. This would be similar. Okay. This is similar. It is beyond, though. Okay. One second, one second, one second. We discussed yesterday, I'm not sure if you were here, if you have uh, produce, which is tevel, right? Eid Echot says it was tithed. Is he believed? Unless he's the owner. The owner says, I tithe that he's believed. Why? Because it's beyond al even though it has a cheskis tevel. But because he could change that, because he, he has total control over the tithing, he, he, so the end result, he could bring that about, therefore he's believed, so the chazoka doesn't interfere with him being believed as an Eid Echot. But if it's a third party, you need to aid him, because they're not believed to, to, to testify to change a, chesk, a chazoka. So here she is a cheskes tyro. She's a cheskes kashas l'koin. She was born, she's permitted to go in. You're not believed to alter that, unless you have the ability to alter it, because you're going against the chazoka. I want to all, by him saying Nishbis, he's changing a Chazoka. Right? You can't change a Chazoka. But I could change that Chazoka. I could alter it. How? Ki Right? She's not permitted to a Kohen. So as long as I'm in a position where I could affect the, the only reason why I'm not believing because I'm affecting your Chazoka, I could affect that Chazoka. It doesn't make a difference, but I have control. The only thing which is preventing me from being believed is because there's a Chazoka that stands in my way. But I could alter that chazoka. By Tevel, the only one who could change that chazoka is only the owner, the Bailim. 
You're not a Bible, you can't change the Chazoka in any circumstance. Like an Eid Echot, he's no different than an Eid Echot. Correct? What? No, makes no difference. Make, but it's interesting. Kidashtiyov is what the Torah says he's believed. But there he's believed more than Eid Echot. Right? He's believed more than an Eid Echot. The Torah says, Biti no Satli Shazad. There's one opinion you could even give a skilo. He's believed, correct? Oh, Nishbis, why should we believe him? Just because he's the father, well, she was taken captive. The answer is, because again, the only thing which is interfering with that is the Chazoka. She has a Cheskos Heter Lekoi. That Cheskos Heter Lekoi, I, 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 I control that. Of course, I can alter it by saying, Ki Dashti It doesn't, but again, what, believe me as an Eid Echod. Why is he not believed as an Eid Echod? Because I have Chazoka. He is a person, he could change that Chazoka. He could remove that Chazoka. That, that's the question, in terms of captivity. Not because he could redeem her. Because he could bring back the status of Cholo, of, of, of Zona. So that, that he says, no, marrying is not Zona. What's that? She's a, he's definitely not believed. Even the first case is not believed. Even the first case is not believed. We don't have to go to Nishbis. Here the Chiddush is, even at a time when he's believed to say, I married her and she was divorced, where he's disqualifying for a Kohen, but in regard to Nishbis, he won't be believed. Okay? Samar says, again, it's not Biyodo. He, he cannot alter a Chazoka, because if, even if he could marry her to a Cholol, she doesn't become a Cholol, because the daughter is kosher, is, a, is, is qualified for a Kohen. One second. One second, one second, one second. So Mary has a question. Right? A father marries her to, to a mamza. What does she become? Then she becomes a zona. So here it's identical to Nishbis. So why is he not believed? Because she has a cheskis hefter lukoi. Therefore he's not believed to say Nishbis, but if it's biyodo lasila mamza, and if he would marry to a mamza, what's her, stake? What's her status? She, she's disqualified to a koi. And for truma. So it's the identical consequence. Result? Samar says no. Rabbi Akiva. Our mission is one of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva's position is Right? So therefore, I could bring about that result by marrying her to a mamzer. You cannot bring that result about. Because even if you try it, it's not, it's, it's not a valid marriage. The marriage, it's like marrying a, a man says, I could marry my daughter to a goy. Right? It's not a kedushin. You're not, you're not, not in control of that. You can say, what, you can have your daughter raped by a goy. That's, that's, the yodo means, it's a, it's a haloch in their monus. It's within your control, if she's in your domain to be believed. It's not. Doma in kedushin tovsi b'chai v'lavim. There's a question. Hari biyodo l'asiya al mono l'koyin godo chreb simoy. What's the halocha? If, if, an, if a Kohen Godel marries an Almona, it's what? He's in violation of a Losasa. So what's the status of the Almona if he marries her and he has relations with her? What's the status? They're She's married. No, they're married, yeah. but what's the status of the child? The child's a Cholo. Right. Is she permitted to eat Truma? She's not permitted to eat Truma's wife. Of course, she becomes defiled. Wait, 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 wait. We're saying Chureb Simoy. The Gemara's question is Chureb Simoy. Even though it's a love, this love is an exception. All other lavim and kedushin tovsit, kedushin will not take effect. So that's it's not within you, under your control. But he still has the ability to marry to an almona, as an almona l'koyin gadol. So there is a situation where he could alter it. Och Reb Simoy, what is Reb Simoy? Reb Simoy is the opinion that almona l'koyin gadol is the exception of chayvil lavim, even according to Rabbi Akiva. Even though under normal circumstances, a chayvil lavim is like kores and mises bezdin, that kedushin has no relevance because anything which produces a mamzer. You cannot have Kedushin, but in regard to Malmona Kohen Godel, it's the exception. Why? The Tanya, Reb Shemo, Mina Kolos, Reb Kiva Mamzer. Every Losa say the end result is Mamzer. Therefore, there's no Kedushin. Chutz Mi Almona Kohen Godel. Why? She Omre Tor Lo Yikach. Tor says Lo Yikach. 
he's not permitted to, to marry an almono. And then the Torah juxtaposes to that, Lo yichalim. Lo yikach, lo yichalim. So what's the result of Lo yikach? Not to desecrate his era. Chilulim hu ose, hu ose, ve'in So according to Reb Simoy, it's biyodo. So if our mission is going to Reb Simoy, why isn't he believed to say nishbiz? It's biyodo. He could bring about that result by marrying her to a Kohen Godel. Kreb Yishevov. Kreb Yishevov. Rabbi Yishevov disagrees with Rabbi Simoy, Al Mishko Rabbi Yishevov, that even uh, Al Mondel Kohen Godel, also, it's a Mamzer, because it's a Lo Sase, we don't differentiate. All Lo Sase is Mamzer. That's not Cholo. No, the question, we want to know who's the Mishnah going on. There's an argument among Tano and what is the position of Rabbi Akiva. Did Rav Kiva say all lavim, including Amon or Kohen Godel, or that's the exception? Rav Simoy says that's the exception. So we have a problem. So you should, if that's the case, should, he should be lived to say Nishbis, because he can marry her off to a Kohen Godel. So we say it's going like Rabbi Shevav, that Rabbi Shevav says no, that even Amon or Kohen Godel also it's Mamzer. So it's not be Yodot to bring back Cholo. Right? So Mars, okay, we will continue tomorrow.